yeah, I'm back with, guess what, another reaction video. What a surprise. This time we're gonna take a look at Madam Web. Yeah. Which, judging by the thumbnail, it looks fake. It looks not real. Oh, really? Starting off, starting off with the Billy Billy Eilish song, Billy Eilish's, and I think that ca that song came out in 2019 too. Not really contemporary. Oh, who's that cosplayer? Oh, uh, okay, all right. I see what you're trying to do. You think you're slick. You think you're slick, huh? Yeah, like you throw in one semi good shot. Let's try that again. From the film into the trailer. Boom, that's it. A week ago, I spent my life racing against time. I'm gonna help you out today, okay? Trying to save people who are running out of it. Okay. okay. One moment changed everything. It's a baby born fetus. Ah, oh, that dialogue. Welcome back to the land of the living. Oh, oh, I've been having visions. I knew he was gonna die. Okay, no offense, but I feel like I'm just watching the trailer for the happening again. Uh oh, it's killing time. It's webbing time. New York City is a whole new level of crazy these days. This is an emergency. Get off the train. That man's trying to kill you. What? Who Why? Why? What is going on? What is going on? I can see the oh, what the hell? She didn't see that coming. That's <laughs> not how it works. Oh, that's just. I've seen that man before. So who is he? Ezekiel Sims. He was in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching spiders right before she died. Wow, the piece of dialogue, the writing, the delivery, it's all perfect. You're the <laughs> Yeah, you almost ran me over. Yeah, maybe it's stop skateboarding in the middle of the fucking connected. street to oncoming traffic and also the Honestly, ambulance. Like the least Fuck. weird thing that's happened all day. <laughs> I mean, I do like the costume. Uh, that's okay. I think he can see in costume the one singular the Ezekiel costume looks good for a fan film like looks great right but for an actual production oh man oh man oh I can see that janky ass CGI Whoop. oh wow oh wow Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. You're showing off. Maybe a okay, this could be from what is shown. Judging by how this trailer is edited, this could be either the, just the first half or this is the entire film. I'm not joking. You could see like, this is from the first act, this right here is from the second act, and this right here is from like the third act. In premium formats and IMAX. Let's be real. This, this does not look fit for the cinemas and i feel bad for the cast like look dakota johnson sydney sweeney celeste o'connor isabella merced tahar rahim mike epps emma roberts adam scott's in this and i'm not excited one bit they also have a website which um is still a thing i didn't know they still did those but yeah if you want to register for updates this is the site for you. So yeah, am I looking forward to this film? Yeah, sure, in a, an ironic way. Okay, I didn't feel this way when I watched the Craven trailer. So, that's something. Will I watch it in the theaters? Um, it depends. Am I watching it for free? But yeah, out of morbid curiosity, will I eventually watch it? If given the chance? Absolutely. In normal circumstances? Uh, no, no. I do not think so. Oh, okay. I just I just noticed the uh, description here. Meanwhile, in another universe, in a switch from the typical genre, Madam Web tells the standalone origin story of one of Marvel Publishing's most enigmatic heroines that no one knows. Whatever. The suspense-driven thriller stars Dakota Johnson as Cassandra Webb, a paramedic in Manhattan who may have clairvoyant abilities. Forced to confront revelations about her past, she forges a relationship with three young women destined for powerful futures. They can all survive a deadly present.
This shit sucks. All right, next up, Pokemon Concierge. I'm supposed to start working here today. My name is Haru. Okay, well, it's stop motion. I love that. And I think the original... Uh... Our job is to take care of these Pokemon and ensure they enjoy the resort. Yeah, in I think it was originally in Japanese. The Pokemon Concierge. The Pokemon Resort. I can't believe I think I'm the mouth here. would line up more better if it was in Japanese. I want you to make the Pokemon feel the exact same way that you do. It is like, you know, I would expect this to be huh? very calming the and. Pokemon don't exactly tell you what makes them happy. Vibe. And I have no vibe idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Type of stuff. Well, most humans won't say it to your face either. They say things like, take a guess. But it is pretty, pretty. Hilarious to think that They're while all this fun, laid back, relaxation thing is going on in the background, like you, you just know there is like a entire field of Rattatas getting absolutely destroyed just so a trainer can level up their Charmander or whatever. It's in the same universe, baby. I wonder how they'll handle the ones that are less, like, every single Pokemon that I've seen so far in the trailer are like, cute, you can buy a plushie of them, whatever. Even this fucking lamp Pokemon, alright? It has like, cute little limbs, you know, funny little, funny little eyes. It's, it's a small little, small little guy. But what about the sword Pokemons? The ghosts Pokemons of the world that don't look like a cute little lamp guy. Will they even acknowledge it? Will they even encounter it? You know, is it just take the Pokemon that are the most cute, that are the most easy to look at, and just push them in the series? Or will they confront the more interesting looking Pokemon and, you know what, give them time in the spotlight to let them just sit back and relax in this, I assume, relaxing series? Am I looking forward to it? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be bright and breezy, of course. Alright, here's another one. Rebel Moon, Part 1, A Child of Fire. It's just such a cool, nice, memorable name, Mr. Snyder. I know you want to make your own Star Wars. We all want to make our own Star Wars. Funnily enough, it wasn't called Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. It was called Star Wars. Keep it nice and simple, but whatever. I'm already nitpicking. I'm already complaining without even watching it, which is always a good sign. Let's give it a chance. When I found you in the wreckage of that ship, I considered leaving you. I was afraid you could bring trouble to us. What? Uh, what? This is like races towards tomboys? I don't get it. What do you think they want? Races towards muscly woman, attractive muscle, short-headed woman. What? What is she? A child of fire? Oh my god, space, space Nazis. They won't just kill you know, us if you think the Empire was too subtle, wait till you watch this one. Do you, know. you think those soldiers will show them mercy? Stop. Okay. I don't think that's how you hold it, but it's very light. You know, space age weapons, as big as those. Surprisingly lightweight. We're gonna have to fight. Okay. I am a child of war. I find warriors. Even shorter hair. We might stand a chance. All good We're films. For soldiers for a fight against the mother world. I could help you. It's the Viking from the Vikings. Like you know that hit series Vikings. Which is actually a hit series, you know? I'm, I'm you very awesome. surprised that uh, it's it's like pretty solid. 
What about revenge? Oh, yeah, this is our good revolution. Ah. A griffin? A robot? Uh, is that, is that a character we've already seen before in the trailer? Is it new? It's a new age for the universe. Well, okay. I wonder if like they started naming it, started adding a part one to Child of Fire after like there's a confirmation that it would get sequels anyway. Oh, there we go. Okay. Comes Rebel Moon, a two part movie event. There's gonna be part one, part two. Okay. What I will say about this film is that it is a Zack Snyder film. In every sense, of the word this is a Zack Snyder film and fans of Zack Snyder films or just a fan of his style just the way it looks the way his films look you will get a kick out of this and if you like Star Wars and you're the sort of person who complains about the sequels too much you'll probably like this a lot <laughs> it's not like I hated all the Zack Snyder films I thought Man of Steel was fine and Zack Snyder's Justice League I really enjoyed that yeah I'll watch it you know because of the plot I really like the plot the plot all right next up we have Mean Girls I don't know if this like is is this like a soft reboot and I had no idea they were remaking this I liked Mean Girls I liked it for what it is it's a it's a classic it's an American classic I should clarify that it it truly is like an American classic but for me it's a solid film with solid jokes just don't go in expecting anything more than what it is but that's the old film this is the new film a uh, uh, soft reboot a uh, sequel legacy sequel who knows let's just watch high heels Chattery 12 oh, isn't that like no. the dead zone for movies this isn't your mother's mean girl. Move. Hey, PG-13, please. What was that? Oh, Lord, it's the queen bee. Regina George. Don't look her in the eye. You could be really hot if you change, like, everything. I met a guy in the summer and I left him in the spring. Welcome to health and human sexuality. We will be getting into abstinence, of course, then followed by in the spring, condoms and... Why? Why? Things now that I don't know Why how to do you sign up for these types of films, okay mister? We're concerned you're either doing drugs or having a toilet baby. Ew. We as women have to yeah, be Yeah, I just feel like the need to pause it and just Welcome, throw this trailer baby. in the trash. You're never gonna believe what I found this morning. Your burn book. Mom, go make snacks. For sure. For sure, Regina, yeah. Do you like gum? Sure. Oh, so he's oh, the no, Prince Charming of this I this world? You're a mess. This we guy? He looks like the clown Why from you It. so scary? It's Halloween. Katie, if you don't dress slutty, that is slut-shaming us. That's just unprofessional. What? What's this? I feel like... Okay, this is just I'm Mean Girls, away. right? All we've done is make Regina hotter and revive the wet look. Dance break. I feel like I should just. Who wrote all this junk? I feel like I. Uh, I would just watch Mean Girls, right? Like, sure, this one has iPhones, but what else? Should be lifting through her glutes. And it's like, oh god, you already know what types of jokes you're gonna make because it's set in the modern era. It's just, um. You're not You have to pick a French name. Chanel. No. Celine Dion. No. Beyonce. Definitely not for me. I'm not the target audience, obviously, but as a person who enjoyed Mean Girls, I can't see myself enjoying this Mean Girls. And obviously you have the Walmart ad with all the old actors in it, you know. I'm just baffled why they didn't just go that route. It makes much more sense. Um, you can explore a whole different angle. You know, obviously the audience that grew up watching Mean Girls back in the day, 
are already grown up and in the same position, more or less, as the characters in this ad. And you get, get hook. That's, that's a potential audience there. But hey, they decided to go this route to completely cater to a whole new generation. And wow, it's working perfectly fine. Just like that. Also, I just figured out this is supposed to be a musical, which aside from like this small look, snippet, I would never have guessed. Nobody would have guessed that this is a musical just from this trailer. And oh, oh yeah, the the logo. This has a musical note. Yeah, bottom line, um, you won't catch me watching this. You have a better chance of seeing me drop dead than me watching this film, but that's fine. It's not for me, even though it's like for my age range. Even though I'm literally part of Gen Z, I don't see myself enjoying this at all like I did the first Mean Girls. Does it matter? Obviously not. Will it be better than the Mean Girls sequel, Mean Girls 2, that came out in 2011? Yeah, sure, probably. It will be better than the sequel to the original Mean Girls. Th that is my verdict. Okay, last and probably least, the Garfield movie starring Chris Pratt and Odie with very weird eyes. I feel like it's he's staring at me. Look. He's not staring at Garfield, it's like he's staring at me. You oh, they're gonna sell a lot of plushies for this one. And just like that, it has already captured the hearts of sisters, mothers, and my girlfriends that I definitely have you know they're instantly hooked by this fucking mitosis ass eyes you hungry little guy another one of those like trailer before the trailer okay i'm not gonna pause oh no garf is crying whatever why does he why do they always add that little top there you don't need it Honestly, they did it with Poe too, from the Poe, the Poe, the Panda Poe series, yeah. Poe the Panda series. Hey, whatever, bitch. Why are you eating pizza alone then? Why didn't you just already take away that, asshole? Hi there, little buddy. Yeah, obviously you all know the punchline, right? It's like, oh, look at this cute little moment, and then like, cut to hijinks. Watch, watch. <laughs> you want a little more? Well, who who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Not me. And that's how I adopted John. <laughs> okay, now have you ever been with a player? Don't that's just Chris Pratt's voice. I really thought he would do like a deeper, more monotone voice, but you know, no, he's just Chris Pratt. The eating you're about to see will not be pretty, and if you have young children, this would be a good time. Say what you will about his performance in the Mario movie. At least he's doing a Mario voice. My father. And also, there's a dead beat dead element to this film, of course. Jumped. Of course, I was really sure. where. You think he'd see that coming? Okay, pause. Is this really necessary? What were they cooking in the writer's room? Was this written during the strike? Obviously not. Does your cat act like Garfield? So I made your video to record them. The Garfield of the movie contained. Yeah, I have cats, but I'm not going to subject them to this. Color me intrigued. Color me intrigued. It's just Chris Pratt. Color me intrigued. You can just hear him say that in like a rom-com. How does this scream Garfield? I have no idea. But whatever. Maybe this is like an origin story. We get to see how, you know... He has a huge stomach, a huge appetite, yeah, but this is like an origin story where we get to see how Garfield became the monotone lazy cat that he is.
I know the plot. I know what's up. Will I be watching this? Uh, if it comes out on TV, sure. I'm not sure if my little brother is interested in this. Just so cookie cutter. It's just so whatever. Yeah. What wonderful films we have lined up for us. Quality stuff. Keep doing what you're doing, Hollywood.